at the end of the day just be yourself and do you because people are going to not like you regardless if they want to like you they'll like you if they don't want to like you they'll find an excuse to not like you <laughs> It is too early. It is Tuesday, April, what day is it? April 24th at 7.07 .07 a.m. And I need this coffee bag. Your pancakes are coming right up, okay? They're coming, patient girl. Carter, how's your eggies? Good? How's your eggies? I guess they still need their coffee. <laughs> in case you're wondering how I get ready in the morning. Get back here. <laughs> where are we going? Uh, go Harpy House. Go Harpy House? Yeah. And where's Burbo going? Burbo go. Burbo go to school. You excited? Yeah, it's over here. Okay, so we got Carter to school. Now we're going for a quick little play date. Um, I actually have our babysitter there for Ella because she naps at 9 a.m. Let's do this. And um, I don't want to mess up her schedule because she's sleeping through the night. So yes, I will go as far as to get a babysitter to watch the monitor while she sleeps for her nap. Um, and another big thing, she's sleeping, sweetheart. <laughs> another big thing is like one of the reasons why I'm torn about having a fourth, we're not like a definite no yet, but one of the reasons why I'm torn about having a fourth is because um, I feel like Carter and Tanner miss out on a lot of things because we can't do things with the baby. And especially Carter, because he's the oldest of young siblings. So I just worry about that kind of stuff. But yes, I wanted to share that little tidbit. If you have three versus four, I'd love to know your opinion on that. Um, everyone, like, I even like one of the teachers, I just heard her talking to another mom, and she was like, oh, if you have a third, you have to have a fourth. Like, there's no just a third. Tanner, what's up? What's up? You just wanted to say mommy a lot of times really loud? Mommy. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I got my Carter J. Hey, okay, lunchtime. Lunchtime. What you eating? Some, some cream cheese, strawberries, and soft pretzel yogurt. What kind of yogurt is it? Yeah, yeah. Baby yogurt. Baby yogurt. And some juice. <laughs> Tanner, what are you eating? Mm -hmm. Mommy's eating a giant salad. I should probably get myself a salad bowl. What do you think? You having salad? Okay, we love white balsamic dressing, right? Hey, did you know that you had the same exact salad right there? <clears throat> oh, Lord. And that's how I stay so thin. Ella, have you had a good day today? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> You're gonna dance? Okay, so that was like a really good lunch until it wasn't. Everything was going smooth, the kids are eating salad and fruit and I'm feeling happy about that, playing with Ella and then I'm like, all right, it's nap time and then the demons came out like oh my i had to chase carter around the entire yard pick him up and bring him into the house i'm like still out of breath my neighbors probably think i'm crazy and they're not wrong so yes i like i don't know my heart is still racing i like to tell you guys like truly what happens in my day not make everything look perfect but at the same time i don't want to like embarrass my kids and like show them on camera having a tantrum so that's just like i don't it just makes me feel yucky so i don't do that but it was, it was a tough one. And then Tanner just does whatever he sees Carter do. So he was like saying, no, no nap. And Ella, I put her down. She goes down like a sweet little angel. But seriously, I feel like 
it was all just so loud screaming in here one minute ago and they're already quiet because they're so tired i swear it's what day is it it's wednesday and they're still getting over like easter i feel like we're still like really tired from easter and everything i don't know maybe it's just me i don't know if you guys are dealing with the same thing but i feel like after a holiday it takes us a while to like recuperate especially when we host but i have a lot a lot to do around this house let me just show you real quick this is like leftover easter crap that i don't even know what to do with just got like this going on um i don't know i just feel i feel like there's stuff everywhere and this is probably not like a lot of mess to you guys but for someone like me it feels like a lot um just because i like things to be in order to kind of control the chaos but yeah this is actually going to go outside once chris gets home he's going to set this up outside we're also going to be setting up our new patio furniture i'm not going to show that though because i want to do like a full patio decorate with me i mentioned my sister's baby shower is this sunday and I have a lot to do still, so I'm hoping that when Chris gets home tonight, I can go to Michael's and grab some stuff for that. Also not showing you what I'm getting because my sister watches my channel, but I am gonna record Sunday when everything's set up because I really wanna show you some of the cute stuff that I did and I also like recorded the DIY portions. Hopefully I didn't delete that from my old memory card, but I like showed how I made some of the things, so stay tuned for that as well. The kitchen and the stuff is pretty, pretty much put away, it took two seconds. But I figured while I'm like chopping up my produce and everything, we can have like a little chat and catch up, always multitasking. So, I feel like everything has been really great. I'm loving that the weather is nicer. It makes me feel like a whole different person. Um, I also finally feel like myself again because TMI, but I got my uh, first postpartum period back. Um, so I always kind of feel like myself again. And I did try out those new um, organic tampons, the L brand, I think it's called, but they were good. I mean, I don't really know what I'm looking for, but I got a lot of messages, people like asking like, were they good? I mean, they did what they were supposed to do. <laughs> um, I did get a new therapist, like you know how I do better help or whatever. Um, and she's just like a little bit more my style. Nothing was wrong with my other one, just like, wasn't really like what I was looking for. Um, so this one is like more into like cognitive therapies and different like techniques to handle stress and things like that. One thing I know that I'm doing wrong because I'm still having those like things where I fall asleep and every night at midnight I wake up with like a panic attack. Really unhealthy, but the thing is I don't ever, I don't have like a bedtime routine for myself. Of course my kids are like on this great bedtime routine to get them nice and relaxed for bed and all that stuff, but I don't have one. I pretty much am working up until the time I like can't hold my eyes open anymore, whether it's like editing or you know getting back to brands and things like that. Um, so I definitely need to get on like some kind of night routine because I feel like that could really truly help me. Um, also, another update that my um, let me go back because you know I have a scatterbrain. Let me go back to the fact that I just hosted Easter and now I have my sister's baby shower. So I feel like, you know, once that extra stuff is done, even though like I loved doing both, it's just extra work, you know? So I feel like once that's out of the way, that could help me as well. Like give me more time to do work type stuff. Plus, of course, I'm trying to be a mom above anything else and a good wife. But, um,. One thing that has also changed for me is that my supply, my milk supply dropped a lot. Not like in a bad way that it's gonna affect Ella, but I just don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to donate because now I went from pumping twice a day to maybe having to pump every other day. A lot of people told me that um, when you get your period, you're supposed to take like this magnesium um, supplement and it kind of like balances out and like helps you get your milk back. But I'm almost like happy with this because I can pump enough that like she could have like one bottle a day and still like breastfeed on demand. So I'm liking that. However, I'm trying to get the little boy that I'm donating to, I'm trying to get him to one year of breast milk. So, um, you know, 
still want to pump enough for him as well. So I don't know. That's my little breastfeeding update. Got my strawberries cut up. These won't last at all. This will be gone tomorrow. That's why, that's how I can cut my produce ahead of time is that my kids eat fruit a lot. Um, I put fruit in smoothies as well as Ella can now eat um, produce and things like that. I also wanted to ask you guys like, my grocery bill this week was $200, the most I ever spent on groceries. And I think it's cause like everyone like fully eats meals now. What is your grocery bill? Mine is of course always less expensive when I can go to Aldi. I'm just having a hard time figuring out like what I should buy from Costco, what I should get from Aldi. Like I don't have the time to like go to all these different stores, but if I could like go and like stock up on something, if that made sense, like, I don't know. I feel like you guys help me a lot and I try to like relay the information to you and help you as well. But we're all in this together. I feel like we're all like, one big mommy tribe helping each other out and that's what it's all about like whatever i learn including the new therapist anything that i learn from her like about different anxiety techniques and things like that i will teach you as well because again i know i'm not the only person in the world who deals with anxiety but that's all that i can think of to talk about right now um for dinner tonight i'm trying a new recipe it's um zucchini like roll-ups with like enchilada chicken inside right yes zucchini enchiladas it's called i wrote it on my little menu board um but it's super easy i'm doing a video this week i've been trying really hard I even have my memory card sitting right next to my stove so that i can do like what's for dinner and do like a whole week of what i had for dinner so stay tuned for that as well i wanted to tell you something else so on Friday, Chris had band practice and I was bored and I just did like a draw my life on my stories and I saved it to my highlights on there. So if you're interested in watching that, it's on my on my Instagram highlights. But I wanted to show you this. So the kids barely touch their yogurt at lunch and I'm so tired of like wasting food. So I made like yogurt bark out of it. So literally all you do is I spray the foil I put the yogurt down and then put whatever fresh fruit you have on hand and then stick it in the freezer and because it's such a thin layer of yogurt it'll be done pretty quickly and you can just break it apart and it's perfect for now that it's nice outside like a little outside treat and it'll probably feel really good for Ella because she's teething. It is absolutely amazing outside and I should 100% be out there during nap time but instead I'm eating my junk food which really is not junk food. It's a perfect bar dark chocolate chip peanut butter. These are amazing. You need to try these. They're delicious and they're actually really healthy so it feels like junk food because it tastes so good i'm watching real houses of beverly hills and i'm just letting the mess in the living room stay for now um but i just wanted to hop on here because i feel like today you know it's not a bad day and just feel like extra stressed out today um and i just feel like it's okay to have bad days i want to say that because in the youtube world and actually in real life too if you have a bad day, you are negative and you complain a lot, like that's what people say. If you have a good day, you're perfect and you think you're too good. So you literally just have to be yourself and go with it. Like if you're having a bad day, have a bad day. If you're having a good day, have a good day. Just really be who you are. I also want to say that there is no prize if you're a mom that does the most. So. I don't know like I just feel like stop trying to do it all and just be and enjoy life because it's so short we only get one life just enjoy it do whatever it takes to just truly be happy and stop worrying so much what other people think about you because all the messages that I get on Instagram and stuff like it's like how do you deal with this and that and it's just because you just have to live your life for you and your family and you really can't let any of that other stuff get in the way of it at the end of the day, just be yourself and do you because people are going to not like you regardless. If they want to like you, they'll like you. If they don't want to like you, they'll find an excuse to not like you. So just be yourself and just be happy. Our kids need happy moms and, you know, not even just for mothers. I know the people that are not moms that watch my channel. The people in our life want us to be happy. So be happy for yourself and for them. Just these awake, we're, we're working on crawling. Right? <laughs> Come on. Come get the camera. It's gonna be a ham and dance and do all your tricks. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on.
Good job. Come on, you're so close. You're so close. It's probably not very easy to crawl in a dress, huh? You want me to sing a song? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, sissy. Come on, you're so close. Yay! You're you guys, that was the closest she's ever gotten. She like did a little crawl slash scoot. Good job. Mommy's so proud of you. Say, I love how she does all now. Every time she sees the camera, <coughs> she starts dancing. Are you a ham? See, I'm a ham who loves to dance. Huh. You're gonna be the best little ballerina. Say, Mom, I'm not doing ballet, I'm doing hip hop. Say, who run the world? Girls, who run the home? Say, my daddy. So Sissy doesn't want to share her daddy today. Changed yeah. the boys into shorts because it got so hot out and Chris said they look like Winnie the Pooh. They do. That's the first thing I thought of when I looked at them. Honey, uh, welcome to my day of look. cranky pants. Doesn't that look like what you're wearing? <laughs> I made Chris a turkey sandwich because he was starving and now Carter wants one. And Tanner's stealing all his chips. And so is Carter. That's right. I didn't even know chips anyway. Dad life. So I'm over here making some T Beeston style coffees with whipped cream. And for whatever reason, my boys like think whipped cream is like the most disgusting thing in the world. So try and get Carter to take some. <laughs> He's not into it. However, Tanner, who's tried it now. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> who's gonna take it? Me. I'm pretty sure it tastes like heaven on earth. Do you like it? <laughs> Why does he act like this is like taking... He's the kid who... Okay, I figured it out. He's the kid who likes taking medicine and doesn't like whipped cream. Makes no sense. Is it good? Yeah. Want to the rest? No one's going to try stuff. I'm going to be good. No? <laughs> okay, so... Just got to Michael's. I put Ella down for a third nap because she's super fussy. She's teething and she's in a leap and she's learning how to crawl. So like all of those things are kind of messing with her sleep right now. Um, so my poor baby, I hope she feels better soon. Um, so Chris is setting up all the stuff in the backyard with the boys, the patio furniture, as well as that little play thing. Um, and I just got to Michael's to finish picking up some stuff for my sister's baby shower And I'm excited to see what they have. I'm also excited because they just emailed me like a 20% off coupon for like Your entire receipt including sale items. So that's exciting Got my list And hopefully they have everything I need. That was a successful baby shower trip So I got home we played outside a little bit and what the kids are having, they want hot dogs. All of a sudden they like hot dogs. They never ate hot dogs in their life, which is cool, whatever. I got them like some healthy brand of hot dogs that I'm making right now. Um, this one. Um, so, I don't want to give that to Ella because yes, I do like a mix of purees with baby led weeding, but I don't want to, I don't feel comfortable giving her hot dogs yet. And so I'm giving her sweet potato baby food mixed with chicken and this is what she thinks about when I give her baby food. I need a poncho when I'm feeding you, girl. Okay, so Ella is sleeping. She went to bed early, like 6.30. It's about 7.15 right now. I got two Woodies. What does Woody say, Carter? There's a snake in my book. <laughs> It's cute. There's a snake in his boot, but his boot sounds like a boat. Yeah. 
Babe, what are you doing to this healthy dinner that I just made you? Um, well, You're picking all the chicken out. Considering you, yourself, didn't even want to eat it. Because I don't like chicken. I, I ate a plate, it was alright. It's just, you didn't cut these thin enough. You gotta make sure when you guys make this, because I know you want to make this. I need a mandolin. Really cut it. You mean like that one? Yeah, I'm scared to Wait. chop my hand off. Where'd our mandolin go? Mm-hmm. Oh, Maybe my second though, perfect like... bar of the day. That was like a knee-jerk Tiffany reaction. You're scared to cut yourself, so you throw away the mandolin. No. Or you probably put it away. it away. Probably. This is going to be a good quesadilla, though. <sighs> quesadilla. Fail. Quesadilla? Remember. I'll never forget that. What? Yeah, I cut you off when you were talking. Is it quesadilla or quesadilla? I can't remember. You remember when we went out to that Mexican restaurant? I don't know. That was such a, like, completely... <laughs> I was so embarrassed. <laughs> like, accidental. I just was ordering. I was like, I'll have the uh, chicken quesadilla, please. And the guy, <laughs> the guy looked at me and looked at Tiff and he was like, is he serious right now? He didn't like, say that. I started cracking up. Well, he, that's the way he looked, though. I was dying. Good story, bro. Oh, so God. Tiff's in the bathroom right now, but... Let me just tell you, this definitely ranks with stuff that I swore when I was like, let's just say 10, 12 years ago in college. I'm not gonna be one day putting flowers around a hula hoop. It's just not gonna happen, I know it. It's not me, it's not gonna happen, but I'm doing it. I'm kind of enjoying it, probably more than Tiffany is. I'm like, well, no, hold on. We gotta go pink, orange, white, not white, pink, yellow. Wait, there's no yellow. But anyway, she's coming back and I want to get caught. Here we are again. 11.45 p.m. What is wrong with us? Let's try to do it all. I enjoyed my time with you. I don't know about you. Um, Not so much. No, of Good course I, I always enjoy my time with you, but I just say it's one of those days where you just run, run, run. And I'm just like, oh. I feel like I missed my calling. You're really good at flowers, baby. I know. I know what I do. Let me know if you guys, you know, think I should open up a Etsy shop or something. I think you should. Okay. Flowers by Chris. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just pumped and I only got five ounces combined. I that pumped. That is not like me. And I didn't get that much, so it's impressive to me. It's crazy. I need to <laughs> baby or so. Strange. I know. I need to really, I don't know, probably go from one extreme to the next. You know what I think it is? I think stress. you have to up your calorie count. That's usually And what. that too. Stress, calories, and I just finally had my first postpartum and mm. flow. Mm -hmm. So it's like a combination of everything. And I'm like, I want to make my lactation cookies, but then... Then what? I eat them all? <laughs> no. I just feel like it's like I'm trying to get my summer bod. I don't want to be eating cookies. But yeah, if I think about it, I feel like I definitely didn't eat enough today. Yep. That's, That's usually a definite correlation with yeah. you. Yeah. And exercise. I'm so stressed out lately. I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah, and I have to exercise tomorrow morning. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Life is amazing. It's just really, really, really busy right now. Mm hmm. And I feel like I just wish I could be like more than one person. I'm not on board with that. I like you as one person. It'd be really weird. Oh yeah. I just like feel like I did a million things at once and I just want to like be all there. Mm hmm You know what I mean? Like be all there. Yeah. Hundred percent in the moment with our kids. It was really super like weird earlier when your body was in the kitchen and your head was upstairs. <laughs> I didn't like that. I'm too tired to laugh at Although you. Although I, I did like having your body there. Great. I was happy for what I had. Romeo is looking Hashtag at you blessed. disgusted right now. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just. That's it. That's the way I like it. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh. All right. Wait, now I look like a golden girl. That's not a bad look. Here's mm -hmm. your thumbnail. New haircut.
<laughs> we need to stop ending our vlogs this late at night because it yeah. never ends well. It's pretty bad. Much better. Yeah, I like it. So don't forget guys, stay tuned. I have my sister shower that I'm gonna like, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna film it yet. It's definitely not gonna be like vlog style, but I just wanna like show you everything, you know? Might be on Beast and Family vibes. Yeah. I'll be vlogging that day and we might insert some of that. Oh, is that. that what we're doing? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Um, all right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you check out Beast and Family Vibes because we've been doing a lot of vlogs on there, like weekend vlogs and multiple day vlogs. And it's just this guy it's does amazing. all the editing. And Pretty he's much really, this really is good Beast at and it. Family Vibes right here. I love it. Just kidding. No. <laughs> All right, guys. You're great. See ya.